Hey, what's up everybody? So today, as you might have guessed from the intro, we're going to take a look at mesh lights with black body node. When you create a plane and put an emission shader on it, it's fine, it works completely fine, but if you add the black body node, it just takes it to another level. So I'm just going to take a model, we're going to create the background, we're going to create the mesh lights, we're going to add the black body, and I'll try to explain what the black body actually does. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the project right here. I put a simple vase that I did following one of my earlier tutorials um, using the Bezier curve. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create the background and we're going to create the emission lights, trying to emulate sort of a studio type of lighting. Uh, basically, how it looks in the look dev in the material view, see it's like a simple black vase. Now the first thing I always do with this sort of stuff is basically I try to check the scale, so for example this is like a 10 centimeter vase or whatever, I'm trying to work as closely as possible or realistically as possible to real world measurements. So that's one thing that you should definitely do when trying to do this sort of stuff. Um, the next thing we're going to do is press Shift A, we're going to add a plane. This is going to be our background actually, our infinity background, so we can rename it background. Now, how we do the background is basically we're just going to scale this a bit down, go into edit mode, we're going to raise the back, let's say, to about here. We're going to exit edit mode, Control A to scale, so reset the scale. Then we're going to choose this seam over here, control B, and just pull it like this. If you don't get these this many vertices or lines, just scroll the wheel mouse and you're gonna get it. And basically, this is about fine. It doesn't have to be like really detailed. Just press W and shade smooth, and you have like a nice infinity background. Now the next thing we're going to do, just go to front view, we're going to add a camera and we're going to position the camera so like this. I usually try to work with, you know, G plus Z because it keeps the scene a bit more precise. So there's not like a millimeter there or it just doesn't slide around the place. Now. Uh, basically what we're going to do, just adjust the focal length a bit. If we go into rendered view, there is nothing because I've basically turned off all of the settings for, for it. Uh, if we go into our world view, I usually like the sky texture. It can give you some pretty good results, but in this case, we're not going to do it because we're not doing like a high key kind of lighting, lighting type. And another thing that's worth pointing out is color management. Uh, I use Filmic exclusively with sort of a high contrast or very high contrast and exposure to one. The problem with Filmic is that it loses, it washes out a bit of color. So basically you have to either, at least I do, at least I it bump the exposure a bit. Uh, and then I just uh, adjust the colors uh, accordingly. Now for the mesh light. We're going to add a plane, I'm going to scale it down a bit, like so, and we're going to move it up. Now we're going to divide this part of the screen, we're going to go to the shader editor, and we're going to add a new material. So just delete the principled BSDF, oh, sorry, just delete the principled BSDF and put in a emission shader. And now if we if we go into our rendered view, this is this is solid. This is it's neither good nor bad. It's somewhere in between. We can increase the strength of the emission to get let's say a bit of more uh, let's say a bit more reflection down here, but again. Now what I usually do with mesh lights is I'm going to add a geometry node right here and I'll be adding a mix shader and a diffuse shader with black right down there and roughness to one. Then I'm gonna mix them. 
And I'm going to use the back facing. Why? Because it blocks the other side of the mesh light. And basically what this does, you don't have any like other lighting that's kind of seeping through into your scene. So you can be a bit more precise with your lighting. I'll just turn it around for, let's say, 180 degrees. So it's like this. And this is basically it. So this is not, it's not a huge change, but you know, you just have this focused light on your object, on your scene. Now, here's where the black body comes in. When I search at the black body, the black body is basically temperature and it's in Kelvin. Now, if you add it, you have this reddish type of thing. Um, if you go check values on the web, you can see that some values say, I don't know, it's like um, the su sunlight is around 5 to 6K, um, overcast is about 7K. It, Blender doesn't reproduce this very well, at least in my opinion. Uh, so if I put in like 5K, it is sort of a sunlight, let's say like afternoon, but again, I'm not entirely sure. Um, for fluorescent or let's say emulating fluorescent lighting, I usually go at about 8K, so 8,000, which would be in terms of uh, sky, a overcast uh, weather. But again, it's try to play around with these, maybe increase that to 10K, try and find a number that's let's say a bit neutral or neutralizes your uh, scene. Let's say 7K is about right. And now if we take away the, the black body, you can notice that the change in lighting, again, it's, of course it's going to change the light because the color is not the same, but if you use the white, the neutral white in emission, it doesn't reproduce the, the exact, let's say, um, Kelvin or the exact lighting that, let's say, a studio light would reproduce. And basically, that's it. So basically, you can just put this, uh, play around a bit with the, let's say, uh, also with the rotation, so you can get a better, let's say, a better overview. And that's basically it. So hopefully, this will help you with your models, with lighting your models. Uh, it's worth noting that you can also try uh, three-point lighting. You can Google that and you'll get more than enough information about that. So this is it for today. Hopefully this will help you out and see you in the next one.